Hello, time for some more features to Steve's Factory Bench. This time there are quite a few like small features in the same theme that together gets quite quite useful. So without further ado, let's get started. So first of all, I just have a little setup here. What I have is a timer set to one second uh, interval, like that. I just renamed it. Uh, I have a condition here checking for an item, but we haven't set any item yet. And then we can turn the output on or off like that. Uh, but if you get confused like what are these things on and off like is that an emitter or is that something else? Uh, so if you get confused at any time I've added so if you hold control it's just going to go back to their original names but it's I'm not renaming them or removing their names or anything it's just that uh, I show their types instead so as soon as I uh, release control it's going to go back. So you never change the names for anyone else it's just for you that alright I want to see what, what they are like that. So that's just a small thing. So let's continue. Right, so first of all I'm going to go in here. And this has nothing to do with the condition really. What it has to do with is actually these slots here. I, those are improved. So now uh, if I do, just to show you, block of redstone. Let's start with that. Okay, so now if I put this block of redstone here, it's going to turn the lamp on. But if I put something else there, it's it's not going to be uh, turned on like that. So that's just to show the setup. Right. Now what I'm going to do is delete that and get a drill. So an iron drill from Steve's car. So the reason why I use these are because they are quite a good example of, of the new things that are going on. So first of all, I, I'm just checking uh, the drill. Uh, sorry, there you go. Uh, but now instead of fussy and not fussy, we have four different modes. So we have pre precise detection, which is basically not fussy from previously. Then we have NBT, uh, MBT independent detection, which is a new uh, type of detection. Then we have fussy detection, which is basically if you selected it as fussy previously. And then we have a f uh, fourth one, which is also new, which is all dictionary support. So I'm going to go through all of these one by one, but we'll start with the fussy detection. So now if I look for an iron drill with a fussy detection, it's only going to care about the ID of the item. So we're looking for a, an iron drill, but really it's uh, just the ID we're, we're looking for. So the ID of this item is 29,997, and that's the case for all the components from Steve's cards. So all components from Steve's cards use the same ID, uh, no reason to occupy more IDs there. So the engine here will actually work. So if I put the engine there, it's going to turn the lamp on. Yes, because they share the ID and we just use a fussy check. If I put uh, that one there, it's obviously not going to do anything. And if I put the drill there, it's obviously also correct. Right, so that's the fussy one. Nothing uh, special there. If I head over to... Uh, this again and go to NBT independent detection like so. Now if I put this in it's not going to work because now what we're checking for is the item ID to be the same and the damage value. So if we look here uh, damage value 0, this is damage value 43 and these have damage value 42. So now if I add uh, this drill here it's going to work. If I add this drill here it's also going to work but if I add this drill, it's not going to work. So as you can see, it's not on there. Uh, but if we take a closer look on this item here, uh, if I shift click to get its full description, it says durability 100%. Yes, one of these drills actually had that. This drill has 100%, but this has only 99, but it still worked. So these do share their item IDs and their damage values, but they have different NBT tags, which are used uh, when we need more information for instance these drills and for instance enchantments on tools they also use MBT tags so um, you might want to have like a, a diamond sword uh, if you just want a diamond sh sword then you want a fussy detection if you want a diamond sword of a, a, at a specific damage value then we want an NBT independent uh, detection and uh, if you if you just want to if you want a, a diamond sword with a specific da uh, well uh, damage value so it has been damaged a specific amount and has specific enchantment then you would have to go with the uh, precise one so that's going to m make sure that everything matches so now if I put uh, the uh, that drill there it's going to work it has ex it's exactly the same as the uh, 
uh, what we're looking for. But that's really, even though it's the same type, uh, well, same ID, same damage value, it's not going to match because the durability is not the same, so the NBT tags are not the same there. So uh, there we go. And then we have the fourth one, of course, which is the or dictionary support. So or dictionary, if you don't know what that is, is a way for modders to uh, well, initially it was for ores, so you could add like uh, lead ore from one mod, and then you can add lead ore from another mod, and then when you add a smelting recipe to lead ore to give you the ingots, for instance, then uh, by adding it to the ore dictionary, any lead ore would work in that recipe. So basically what this means is that if you add uh, in here, uh, let's remove that, if you add here like ore, like iron ore, uh, but, well, copper or something like that, then it would grab all the ores. Uh, I can show that as good as I can now without those ores by doing the uh, plank here, or dictionary support like that. So all the planks are actually in the ore dictionary as well. So now if I add spruce there, even though I look for oak, it's going to work like that. Obviously, I could achieve the same thing here by just doing a fussy or MBT. MB, uh, BT independent fussy uh, detection, yes, because well these have the same ID. But for for uh, when you have other mods installed, that's uh, what you can use for like all oh, right lead or lead or well it doesn't matter or lead dust and lead dust or well copper or whatever. Uh, so that's that's those things. Uh, right, there we go. Uh, we're almost done now. But one more thing I want to go through is previously you could type all to show all the items that, uh, well, exist. Uh, I changed that, so now it's dot all, like that. So if you actually want to sh search for all, then you can do so, and that's where we can see we can find six items. Uh, but uh, yeah, so dot all there, it's going to list all the items, maybe a bit tricky to go through. It, it probably more useful for fluids because then you don't get hundreds and hundreds but you can, maybe you get 50 or something depending on the amount of mods you have installed. But more importantly I've also added another command called dot .inv which is short for inventory. So now we get a list of all the different things we have in the inventory, well unique things I should say. So we have the two different drill sets. So I can actually click on this one just because it has a different durability. So now we can actually check for something that we otherwise can't uh, add. So usually you can just search just fine, but if you have some very specific item that may be a B with some sort of special MBT data or I don't know, something very specific that you can't get from the creative window, then well, just search for a .in and it's going to list the things you have in your inventory and then you can just select that. So there you go, durability 99. So now if I do a uh, precise detection like so, then I can simply do uh, uh, add that one there and it's going to turn on, but if I use that one, it's not going to work. Oh, one more thing to note, I have two stacks of spruce wood, but it just showed one stack of spruce wood in the uh, in the thingy when I searched for .inv, even though it showed both the rails. That's because these had a difference, the ta uh, tags weren't exactly the same. So that's pretty much it for now. Uh, I hope you find these new updates useful, and good luck.